Let's get back into the publish history. Let me tweak my audio a little bit. I can remember where that is. Check my settings here. No. looking at the vlogs, so I wanted to drop that down a bit. Alright, so I'm in Act 3. Um, with my open hand bunk. So, time to dive back. Did that first meet up with Mr. I'm curious to see what she looked like. And I'm here, alright. Thank you. 
Opening up some serious tears, got way too many at the moment. Mistress Lightness. I have a good time. It's been some time since I stood before her in a place like this. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic. It sets your teeth on edge. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Your goddess calls. Serve her or denounce her as you will, but you cannot ignore her. Time was, I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. Yeah. Am I? You're ready. <laughs> You're right. I am a strong, capable wizard. And this I is think it's a little bit more than that. reunion with an ex-lover. Not so I, casual. Omnipotent, omniscient, ex-lover. Yeah. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. Welcome to humanity. <laughs> Excuse me. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former Classic relationship girl. and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm going to have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. The summoning channel Mistra has provided is one only I can enter. No matter how much I prefer not to face her alone. Make a fine three dragon anti player, you know? <laughs> I think it's best I keep a cool head going into this. Approach it like a particularly high risk round of three dragon anti. I'll let yeah, Mr. Show the show is risky. And then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. <laughs> I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The outer planes experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. All right. to you but I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments so why am I here you discovered what lies at the heart of the absolute the crown of causes and you disobeyed my instruction why because you had no right to ask that of me you cast me out remember you were my lover my chosen Yet still you know so little of me. <laughs> the past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. 
The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Carsus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. You can no more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. <laughs> that it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you do not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on, as you always did. <laughs> so be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. Well, I thought it was Mr. soil once more. I can't believe I saw her. After all this time. <sighs> Relieved. Drained. Proud of myself for summoning the courage to go to her in the first place. And, if I'm being totally honest, a bit lightheaded. As if it wasn't enough to have seen her again. She didn't exactly summon me there for small talk. The Carsite Weave. Within me this whole time. I knew the orb was no ordinary ball of magic before it to be Carsus's malignant creation. Gods! How did I not see that? Hmm. <laughs> true enough. There's a reason such unwitting heroes have been the backbone of lyric and legend for as long as both have existed. <laughs> and it's so. I was hardly some naive apprentice at the time. I considered myself an archmage, and yet was fool enough to be mistaken for a common conjurer. At least now I'm armed with the truth and Mistress Expectations. It sounds like the door to redemption is open at last. All I have to do is. Walk through it, carrying the crown of Carsus. Perhaps I see few other options open to me. If I ever want to reclaim those parts of myself, the orb snatched away. If I ever want to be me again. To disagree with you there. Having not one but two parasitic entities within your body does very little for one's faith in one's personality. Fair. Still, Fair. I should take the compliment with the same generosity it was given, so thank you. <laughs> if I could promise you one thing in return for your faith in me, it's this I will use 
everything in my power to ensure we defeat this evil. I will not let you down. Now, I believe we have a date with an elder brain to get to. Shall we? The elder brain kiss on the first date. <laughs> Check and see. This guy has Looking ahead. potions.
first. I wonder if she has anything to say after we just said that guy. Aelin left to face that wizard. Uh, Laroican, was it? Even after all she's been through, she thinks herself unstoppable, invincible. It all feels like recklessness to me. It's dead. <laughs> we can harm her. Just as I wanted to help her, but she said she fights better when she knows I'm safe. I understand. I suppose. I feel the same about her. Double check. That quest is complete, right? So she doesn't know about it yet, I guess. Thoughts have been somewhat scattered since my audience with Mistra. The Karsai weave could offer more than just power. It could bestow divinity. I only trust myself to wield it. I know this may not be the course you would choose for me, but before you protest, you should at least know what it is you would be advising against. Please, close your eyes a moment. Astronavigamus. Few mortals ever glimpse what you're about to see. But don't be alarmed. I'm here with you. Now, open your eyes. The 
outer plains. This is where gods dwell. They observe us from afar, where they make playthings of us. They will keep all of this from us. The power, the possibilities. They want us to serve them, to pray to them, and ultimately to die for them. But what if we didn't need them? What if we wielded their power instead and helped ourselves in all the ways they refused it? I could make that happen. I could make this illusion a reality with you by my side. Then have me, but have the best possible version of me. Karsite is just not the best the version of you. These threats to our existence, the gods could aid us if they wished, but instead they cower behind Io. So let us act ourselves. With the power of the crown, you any don't want to fuck with Io. Impotent. Any obstacle will be dwarfed by our might. I used to believe Mistress Forgiveness was worth dying for. But I was wrong. You showed me just how much I have to live for. With you, I forget, my goddess. I love you. Tell me you feel the same way. Tell me you want what I want. Please. It won't. I swear to you. It's... I don't believe you, dude. Sorry, no. You told me once to choose you, the one who loved me. That's what this is all about. Do you doubt me? I don't doubt you, I doubt it. there to be said. But I could be so much more to you. You put the stars to shame. Let's sit here another while. I want to drink you in. Let me check my settings real quick. Let's see what kill wants to say first. My love. 
hope you enjoyed our voyage through the cosmos. I was hoping you might have a moment to talk about it. Neither have I. The closest thing to a deserving canvas on which to place your beauty. But I've also not forgotten why I took you there. I hope you don't think less of me. Great ambition should not come at the expense of what you already hold dear. I see that now. The divine calculus plucked each of us from the ether and thrust us together. I don't deserve you, truly. But I will do my utmost to earn the right. Was there anything else you wish to discuss? Calculus and tradition, dude. Strangely, no. Once, a mere glimpse of her face would have been enough to turn my insides over. But not this time. In her likeness, I used to read a thousand stories. She was beauty, wisdom, elegance, power. She contained universes. But now, it's hard to see any redeeming qualities in a lover who condemned you to death. I'd much rather gaze into your eyes than hers. Yours are capable of tenderness and feeling. No God can ever compare. Aww. <laughs> I've often asked myself the same question and never really found a satisfactory answer. You clearly see something in me that I can't. The wisdom and intelligence required to overcome almost insurmountable odds, perhaps? All the stupidity required to attempt it. I'll take it as a compliment either way. You don't get to be 13 centuries old without becoming a sound judge of character. And cheese. <laughs> don't forget the cheese. <laughs> I regret many things in my life. Choosing to be here, intact and unexploded, is not one of them. Good. For now... To have a few more days in your company, no, I wouldn't change a thing. Let's see if Aelin is back. She is. Let's see if she is hatching this day. Ah, am I mine? We are reunited once more. I was just regaling sweet Isabel with tales of our prowess. Very impressive. Thank you for helping Aelin. That wizard sounded absolutely dastardly. He did, and it came. Now, my friend, bask in your victory. I will do the same. My darling. We must inform our friend of our news. Indeed. I've scouted a Salunite enclave outside the city. They faced the Absolute's armies and come out battered and bruised. Aelin and I will go to them, provide what help we can. But fear not. When the time comes for you to face the foe of foes, Isabel and I will stand by your side. We wouldn't Glad miss to hear it. it. Not for anything. Go well, friend. We will see you soon, and with our great powers combined, this city will be saved. From your lips to the god's ears. Alright, now let's hook up some daylights.
twice what you just said. I'm not gonna complain about that. <laughs> right. This tombstone appears to be freshly carved. Friedrich Hume. His last connection with this realm severed. This tombstone still bears the dust from its recent engraving. Vary Vanthampur. Unwanted in life, welcomed in death. Sample Tombstone Premium Edition with an optional engraving of iconography. fine selection of tongs the one indispensable tool of the artisan's workshop it seems tongs so many tongs no traps please I don't mind if I do. CPC. door has red text on it reading all are wasted all are embraced none shall escape
guess I'll have a loot goblin. Flaming fists this way. It's a poem. It continues, is a burden to great and to small. There's something engraved on the skull. Living, torment of sorrow and strife. We faithful cure mortals of burdensome life. And present it to Death Father Baal, verse by Invoker Grimlark. Present me well from gifts thine own, or I shall rend thy flesh from bone. A grasping hand, an offering vile. Enter now the dread lord's trial. Let's see how this goes. I'm just sure it's nice to stuff for all. You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill-trusted zealots. 
His faithful departed. Prodigal servants. Each returns to do his bidding eternally. This man is known to all Baldurians, and his presence sparks dread in the pit of your stomach. Before you is Saravok Anchev, a barbalist who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. Devala oh, was right. Shit. Not just an imitator, but Saravok himself. This is the court of the Dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal. A long while ago, my wretched sibling bought me back. The fairest of Baal spawn sold thou me to this husk. Worship death though I do, I refused it. I roamed the coast, gathering those who still held Baal in their black hearts. The cult survived. Festering beneath the city, with me as the gate's everlasting poison. But no more, for poison is too slow a death. Now is the time for slaughter. With these killings, the glory of the Balis has risen beyond what we dreamed possible during those dark days. But the worship of my lord is led by another now. My granddaughter, Arin. The youngest unholy assassin ever to follow in Baal's bloody trail. And his chosen. Granddaughter is a Baal son. Baal has never had a more gifted prodigy. Arin's gifts surpassed even her mother's. Her mother knew this, and she could not bear it. When Arryn was but seven years old, she tried to smother the child as an offering to our Lord. I heard the screams. I ran to help, but feared for the child's life. But the cries were not Arryn's. It was her mother's blood that soaked the sheets. Arryn had cut off the very hand that tried to end her, and made a plaything of it. And as she toyed with her dead mother's hand, a deep quiver rose up through her throat. The Lord of Murder speaking through the child. Lay not a finger on this child, he said, nor let any other. For this child will serve me with unholy ardor. Protect her in my name. Baal's reasons are not for us to question. My lord made his choice. I abided by his words. And so it is that Arryn now leads his temple and draws aspirants to his creed. But Arryn is not the subject of our judgment here today. You wish to become an unholy assassin of Baal. So, approach. And be judged. You have been judged. You have been found wanting. 
Unworthy. You will make a most beautiful offering to the Lord of Murder.
fancy their chances. Nine. Okay, so you can simply here play AOEs.
blood. The tail. It has been. Nine.
Don't let up.
I'm gonna step away for a moment. I'll be right back.
might seem to be a bit cranky, so I think I'm going to uh, stay here and, and take a break for a bit. I'm uh, going to look into uh, checking out uh, one of the live streaming services, I think. I think it's actually just called live stream, uh, but I believe that I can actually uh, add some of the features that you would normally use OBS for with Twitch, uh, but you can actually do it even when you're streaming from a PS5, which is where I'm playing this here. So I'm going to check that out, do a bit of research, and wait for months to kick in. I'll probably be on back online later, and I'll definitely be playing uh, more tomorrow as well. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.